belong to the strongest cult. I was the major boy in town. They call me fine boy. They call me guy with swag. They say all sorts of names just to boost my ego. But in my secret place, I ask myself, who are you? Is this what you were created to be? So many times I made the guns my friends. I tested the rounds and tested the pumps just to fill them up. I never knew the realms of the spirit. There were two powers pulling. One was saying, come to me and I will give you all the satisfaction you desire. And the other said, no. There is a way that seemed right unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy lady, and I will give you rest. But I said, no. I'm still a young boy. I still have some girls to trap. I still have some deals to do. I still have some trauma dolls to take. This is not a drama. My name is CJ Enenta. Every night my mother cries and tells God, what kind of child have you given to me? Oh, Ibo, you don't know this man that stands before you. I have gone to six secondary schools in six years. My mother, my father is here. They're listening to me right now. What happened? I don't know. I just wanted to live a life that you may call fun right now. This is not a drama. This is me, myself, and I telling you that after I encountered the cross, everything about me changed. I was initiated to a cult in school and one day I came back home beating and they brought the news to my father and said he stole a wristwatch and they beat him this much and I accepted yes I stole the watch my father is hearing this for the first time my mother is hearing this for the first time I never stole any watch I was only initiated into a cult And my mother cried and said, what kind of education do we have in this country? She never knew her son had just decided to go to the path that leads to darkness. Because I want to be the most happening guy in campus. The blood was shed on the cross of Calvary for our sins. I see young children today, 16, 17, 18. A young boy came to me and said, sir, I cannot save myself from masturbation. It is almost killing me. I do it sometimes and I faint. A young girl came to me and said, I am just 40, 16 years old, sorry, but I've committed abortion three times. They say, if you join Jesus Christ, you don't have swag. And I ask myself, show me that youth in Oibo that has swag more than me. Tell me who that guy that speaks all the languages, who goes there, who does that, who does that, that boom. Shit. I speak in tongues and I speak from the Holy Ghost. I came to you today, not as the CJ you know. I bring the good news from God. This edition is tagged the cross. The cross is filled with blood. The cross is filled with pain. The cross is filled with sorrow. Nobody experiences the cross and comes out smiling. Pain, shame and disgrace everywhere. You wonder why your life is like this. Because you have not met this man called Jesus. I encountered him so many years ago. 
and today I stand justified in Christ just recently my mother was telling me something she's here she said do you know we were praying for you to die I went to different schools just to commit crime my father almost I use the word almost lost hope because of this son he had from God God spoke to him God gave him prophecies but these prophecies refused to come to pass because it looks as if the devil has taken a hold of me I speak to every heart here if you don't know Jesus you are the most miserable man on earth one day I was called from the hostel and they said walk down I walked down the road a path I never knew two boys carried me I said where am I going to they said shut up and move I moved the distance and they got to a place and they said kneel down I knelt down I don't think my father has had this before I knelt down and they pulled out the six round revolver I can never forget the picture and they put it in my head and they said today is the day you die and I was forced to kneel down that handsome boy that boy full of swag that boy that has so much to offer multi-talented back then everybody was praising my father you are your son is he's doing well he's doing so much he doesn't know that his son is about to die and go to hell and right there they said say your last prayer I looked at the boy we call him Baron I said Baron why do you want to take my life for no reason I cook and we share food together he said something he said in this race there is no brother because if you go down I'll be promoted I was talking and I was waiting for the gun to go down and I shut my eyes and I said Heavenly Father you can save me now the world will hear of this testimony and I was praying I closed my eyes waiting for the bullet to go off I knelt down five minutes nothing happened ten minutes nothing happened all of a sudden I felt a tap on my shoulder and he said stand up I thought they were trying to change their position and I opened my eyes I looked around I didn't see anybody I said okay they were hid they were hiding in the bush so that when I come out or when they when I move they will shoot me I came to tell you that I now I bear the mark of Christ Satan has no part in my life anymore even when the world turned their back on me Jesus stood by me when they gave up on me and they saw the worst in me he saw the best in me and today I stand here only because of his grace I want to say this and I want to go on my knees and I beg everyone if you die today and you don't have Christ you will regret today you came here not by mistake but for you to hear what I am just saying right now it is not about my girlfriend when they put the gun on my head my girlfriend was not there my niggas they were not there the guys my ginger fans they were not there I was about to go down the only man that stood and told me go and never look back was Jesus and he's beside you and behind you right now and he's saying today is the day of salvation please do I have youths here that are willing to say tonight 
I am done. I am done. The devil, it's time to get out of my life. Jesus, the walk on the cross was just for me. Come. Let's do this together. I want you to join this sweet cult. Oh, we don't drink the blood of animals, but we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Come, because Jesus loves you. He died for you. Let the walk on the cross walk in your life. Today, I don't think there is anything I will want to ask for politically, spiritually, financially, even in the entertainment industry. Jesus has done it already. Come. Someone's knocking at the door Someone's knocking at the door Can you hear him knocking? Can you hear him knocking? He's been knocking very long He's been knocking for so long Can you hear him knocking? Can you hear him knocking? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Wow, 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 what a wonderful time I hope you enjoyed every bit of that testimony that was my testimony and i believe that god is giving you your testimony all right if you watch this program and it has blessed you in one way or the other and you have something to share you have something you want to share you want to speak your mind you're looking for someone to talk to but you're depressed you're feeling downcast or you don't know who to talk to you can just call the number on your screen right away and i will talk with you whatever it is whatever the challenge is whatever the addiction is just call that number on your screen and um, follow us on our social media platforms and let's connect god bless you don't forget to like share and also comment god bless you